Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24-7. Um, I had an idea for a card. I have this Christmas Deckle Edge card die set. And um, I thought it'd be really fun because it comes with um, this really cool layering die that has all the circles, um, the little circles cut out on the edge. And so what I've done is I took the base die and I cut it out in the... Um, Stamps of Life Pine Green, because this is a Stamps of Life die. Um, I, go, I bought it off of HSN, Stamps of Life. And th so then I took this one, and I cut it out of Heartfelt Creations Gold. And I want to layer it on top, but first I want to do something with that. And uh, the other thing I did was, is in this set, there's all these super fun greetings. And I wanted, I took this one here, and the Seasons Greetings one. I cut it out in Pine Green. And then that same green, or it's not pine, it's like spearmint, I think is what Sam's of Life calls it. And then I took the Seasons Greeting, the intricate portion, and I cut it out of the Heartfelt Creations Gold as well. The Luxe Gold. And I'm going to layer that on top. And it, this has adhesive on the back of it. In my stash, I have this Tim Holtz little star punch. And I cut it out of Heartfelt Creations Luxe Gold as well. And I was, what I thought we could do is make a faux Christmas tree. Uh, with the little stitches and so what I have is I have this uh, embroidery thread um, here and it's a really pretty green that matches the spearmint um, it's kind of got a little bit of a shimmer to it um, I got this really great little needle here it's one of those, um, and I'm going to double it up so you can actually see it a little better. And the reason I'm using regular embroidery thread um, is because I want to um, be able to get through just a single hole a bunch of different layers. Um, and then that way it won't, like if you used yarn, you could only probably put a couple of strands through it. And I know I'm going to do a lot of strands. So... What I want to do is I want to get a big piece here and then pop it on my, put it on my needle. And this is one of those needles that are self-threading. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and I want, I want to, I'm going to make a Christmas tree. I don't, did I say that? I'm going to make a Christmas tree. And so what I want to do is I want to. I want to make it to where it goes from like right there to right there on my card and then to wind it like so. And so actually I should have started down there in the corner. So let's actually go back through and start it. Let's actually start it from the corner and go up to this one here because that'll look really cool. So let's actually go here. right no let's let's actually i'm going to start on this one here so there's my straight one i'm going to go down this one and then i'm going to go up into the corner right there that's what i'm going to do and then i'm going to come up and go through i might have to let's see I want it to kind of be in a diagonal on there. What is going on with this? Obviously, I'm still figuring this part out. Oh my, this is just crazy. All right. Um, hey, let's start over. Let's try this again. This is not going how I saw it in my mind. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I wonder if it's because I need to just cut it off. Okay, we might have to do a few. Um, we might have to tie it and do a couple of these. Which, that's not that big of a deal. So let's just go ahead and trim it, tie a knot. 
on the end of our string here. I cut a pretty big piece off. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot because that wasn't going very good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape it on the back. I'm going to tape it on the back on the corner right here. See, I want to go towards my hole. And let's just do that. Whoops. Let's just do that like that. All right. So now we're going to, so let's re, let's reset here. So let's go up here. Yeah, that's better. And where do I want my, I want my top of my Christmas tree to be like right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that my central point there. So then let's come up here. Do the next one. See, I just went up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this corner here. Come on now. Like that. And then come back up through the hole next to it and then go back. Making sure all my threads are come back up through this one. Go, so go next to this one here and then come back up and then can I get oh yeah that's gonna be fun go back down and then we're gonna just have to tape it I'll probably have a few of these on here then There, there, we just taped it. Okay, so let's grab another piece off. All right. I think it's going to be really pretty, though. There we go. Let's cut that piece. Wouldn't that be fun? Look how cool that is. On top of the gold. I just love green and gold. Especially at Christmas. It's so pretty. Okay. So we went back up there. So let's. We're going to go this way. Here. This. This way. So let's tape this. Now. Let's tell my scissors here. Let's tape this to the back, too. All right. So we already went up. So now we're going to go uh, to here. And then go up into the next hole. Uh, we want to keep it tight and then go back through this hole and then up on the other side. And then back down the next hole. And then we're going to go up to the next one. I think that's looking like a Christmas tree. I think that looks really cool. I think that's going to be a really neat looking abstract Christmas tree. So I'll go here. We'll go there. Then we'll tape it on the back. I think I'll pop this up on, um, that should be pine green.
kind I should do a see if I get a bigger one I think it should actually I'll use the stitch stars and we'll do a bit a bigger one we'll do pine green and then gold layered on top like this so that's gonna be really cool I think it's gonna be really neat the thing about this is it takes a little bit of time to which is nice with that needle that automatically threads it takes a little bit to get all the pieces you know okay so we came back through this way so let's go up here tape it on the back to it then back up and then in through and down next to this one and then up through, back in, around, oh, 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 don't, don't get it too tight, you can't get it too tight, make sure we're not too tight, there we go, not too tight, down to the next one, Up. Oh wait, where is it? Close. There we go. Up. And then, okay, we can still go. And then I think we can go again. Yeah, we can go again. Just have to make sure we hold it to where it's not um, too tight, you know? So let's tape that. Yeah, I think that's going to be really pretty. That is going to be so pretty. I like it. I think that's cool. We'll just do it here. Which, yeah, we'll be fine with that. So let's just go back through here. Oops. Back through here. Not too tight. Not too tight. Oh, well, my string came off. My thread. Okay, so then we'll go down to the next one. Not 
too tight. Down. Oh, shoot. There, I was crossed up. This is so simple. You could actually do a bunch of them on uh, for Christmas cards on the couch. You can just sit and watch a fun Christmas movie and get into the zone and make these. I don't think they would take too long. Once you got the hang of it, you know. It makes it nice with these self-threading needles. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go here again. Yeah, we'll just do that. A little tape. And then we'll pop these up on this up on uh, dimensionals. And that way uh, we can compensate for the all the tape and the knots on the back, you won't even notice it. Let's go up here. Here. Oh yeah, look how pretty. Up to here. Okay, can't go too tight. Here, here, oh, I can't go, that's okay. So yeah, I think it's going a little faster now that we're getting a little rhythm. I'm almost done. Look how pretty, pretty, pretty. I like the double strand. Uh, it makes it look a bit thicker, but as you can tell, you can put so many in um, with a regular um, with the regular thread. It goes pretty good and you can see it you can still see it you know it's bold enough that you can still see it thin enough you can string it through the couple of holes multiple times and it just makes it actually look really cool up at the top too oh I lost my thread again a little string here There. Put down through. So let's come back up. Is that, oh, that was way back. Oh, forget it. Don't even. All right. If you make a mistake, just leave it. 
You won't even notice it. Yeah, you won't you won't even notice like I skipped a thread right there, but I don't think you notice it. I think it's just fine. I'm not going back for it anyhow. Yeah, that looks cool. There. You have to make sure the strings are taut enough, but not too tight to where it's bending everything. Just a couple more and we'll be done here. I hope it looks cool when it's all done. I think it's going to. Probably should have tested the theory. My little idea. Should have tested it. I guess I don't necessarily have to upload. Just because I film it doesn't mean I have to upload it. Whoops. So, I guess if it doesn't look cool, you can just move on. Pretend like we never made it. I think it's going to look really neat, though. I just made it. Just made it. There we go. All right, just a couple more. I had to pick my scissors up. I totally dropped them. I'm just cutting off like giant chunks of string. Oh, this was a tiny one. Holy cow. Wait, where are we at? Let's come up here. Yeah, this one wasn't very big. Jeez. <laughs> okay, I should have cut one bigger than that, but <laughs> that's okay. Oh my heavens, it's so pretty. Oh, well, I guess that's all I needed. That is it right there. Hey, how'd it go? Hold on. Okay, so that was John. He just he just got back with Buddy, and uh, they just uh, did a little errand real quick. And uh, he doesn't do so hot in the car. We're trying to get him used to it, and oof, he ended up throwing up and stuff, but. We get those um, sheet protectors, uh, disposable ones. Uh, there he is. Hold on. Okay, so there we are. Um, I just kind of buffed it off a little bit uh, while I was talking to John. Um, anyhow, and I think that that is actually going to look really cool. I wish I wouldn't have pressed so hard because I got one of the knots. It dented it right there, but I think it'll still be fine. I think, I think that's actually going to look really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, pop some uh, dimensionals on the back. I'm going to I'm gonna just going to put some of these. These are Stampin' Up! dimensionals. I just love these things. They work so well. Um, I'll just put a few on the back. 
and uh, that's probably good enough. Yeah, let's call that. And then um, pop this up on the front. And then put my greeting on there. Pop my greeting up, probably. Come on. Oh, wait. I need to fold this. And then I'll put a white panel on the inside so you can write. There we go. Let's get a bone folder. Yeah, there we go. We'll do it this way. So then let's pop this on. Wait, 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 wait. Probably like so? I'm guessing? Oh yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, that looks really cool. Look how cool that is. That's so fun. Okay, and so let's go ahead, and this already has adhesive on the back. Oops. There. I love green and gold. What are your guys' favorite Christmas colors together? I do like red and silver, though. Or red and gold. Green and gold is just so elegant and pretty. I think that looks really fun. Like that. Or should we put it up there because I did that little mistake? No, let's just go here. So that didn't actually take all that long to do. I'd say if you, after you did a couple of them. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut a different star out. I wasn't a big fan of this one's too small. So I, I grabbed my little Stamps of Life stitch stars. And, uh... We're just going to do a couple of these. Let's see, what is this big? Oh, that's about the same size as that one. And I have this other pack of stars I got off of Amazon. I think this one might be a little bit bigger. I think this one would layer with that one, I think. Let's test it. We'll cut it out of this one. And I'm just going to use my little prism here. And let's see what that looks like. Wait, where's the cutting plate? Which one? Cutting. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe we should tape it. I love this thing for just little things. Just one little bitty thing extra you want to do. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Oh wait, could we just put that on? Hey, that would layer on. But look at all the stitching. I think it covers up the stitching too much. Oh, look how pretty. That is going to look really cool. Let's see if we can get a gold one to layer on there. It's a little, same little Lux gold. Little scrap piece. Hopefully this layer is right on top of it. Oh, I think it looks so fun. Oh, and it gets the stitching too. Yeah, that's more fun. I think 
these will layer just fine. Oh yeah, see that layer is really cool. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to use an adhesive dot on the gold because the gold, if I use glue, will show the glue line. And I don't want you to be able to see it. And then we'll just layer this on here. Oh yeah, and that looks really cool. And then we'll just put adhesives on dots on the back of this one as well. And then that way... It will adhere just fine. These are these are actually pretty strong. These are those um, uh, dots, glue dots is what they're called. They're actual glue dots. The brand, and they work actually pretty good. And especially because it's a slick surface, it'll be fine to have these on there. Yeah, and then we'll just do. Oh yeah, look how cool that looks. There we go. Oh, it doesn't that look cool? How fun is that, right? I think that's neat. I think it actually turned out really cool. And uh, there we go. Green and gold. I love it. All right. Let me know what you guys think of the card down below. I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic week. It's a short week this week. Uh, until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.